Libra, welcome back to the channel. Monica Luf here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the next six months. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Libra, your challenge over the next six months is the Ace of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Death Upright, okay? So your biggest challenge, Libra, over the next six months is the Ace of Cups. New love coming in possibly for you over the next six months. It may be challenging for you to accept this new love coming in. We're gonna see why the Ace of Cups is your challenge and what you need to know in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Libra, you have the Devil, you have the Two of Pentacles, and you have the Ten of Wands. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel here there was a situation that you were involved in that may have not been stable in the past. There was a lot of on and off with this situation here. I do feel like there was a choice or a decision connected to a situation that you were involved in in the past where things started to become very difficult. There started to become some sort of pressure. And as a result of that, um, you may have needed to decide here in the past. And we're gonna clarify this. We're gonna get more information on that for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Fool, and you have the Queen of Swords. So in the present moment, there is a very, very strong energy of you starting to have some sort of new beginning. Now, we just recently had the uh, solar eclipse that happened in your sign, and this happened on October 14th, and this reading is for the next six months. Now, of course, the energy is going to differ for different viewers, uh, but for you, you've either started something new in the present moment or you're in the process of starting something new, and this very well, Libra, can be connected to your financial situation, maybe your uh, overall work situation. Now, for others of you, if this is not about the financial situation for you, this could be about a new energy that's coming into your life, possibly a new love, or a new beginning in love, which is showing up here with the fool and you're here in the present moment. So we're gonna clarify all of this. We're gonna get more information on that for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the chariot, you have the ace of wands, and you have the nine of cups. So in the near future, there's a very strong energy here of a brand new spanking beginning happen for, happening for you. <laughs> um, so this is about you finally, Libra, moving forward, okay, over the next six months. Uh, because like I said, we just had the solar eclipse in your sign, it's gonna take at least six months for it to actually create some sort of momentum, create some sort of new beginning for you. So it's very important that you're patient with yourself. Um, the chariot and the ace of wands is here in the near future. So you're moving forward towards some sort of passionate new beginning that what it looks like or what it appears to look like, it's gonna make you really happy and feel satisfied. So we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna get into detail and see exactly what's going on and what you need to know in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the death, you have the six of wands, you have the ace of pentacles, and you have the two of swords with the star. So, oh, and underneath that, you have the wheel of fortune. My oh my Libra, what a reading. So what's happening for you over the next six months, which you don't see is a couple of things, okay? The first thing is, is something here is going to change, okay, within you. And I think what is gonna change within you is how you are open to certain people, how you're open to certain situations. Now there are new opportunities coming in for you. I see for you that December, Okay, end of December, early January is a very important time for you because you realize something. Uh, you recognize that maybe possibly something here needs to change and transform in order for you to be recognized, in order for you to take advantage of an opportunity financially. 
You're also creating some sort of boundaries towards maybe certain people, certain energy, certain environments, especially because you're very focused on your future in the near future. You're very focused on some sort of opportunities and you're looking for opportunities as well. So a lot of you are disconnecting. Some of you are even disconnecting from a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, who's been on and off with you for quite some time. I'm also getting a Taurus. Okay. Um, some of you are going to be walking away or disconnecting from this person. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you in terms of what you don't see coming. Of course, we're going to get into your reading. We're going to clarify. Let's see how all this connects together. Okay, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, your challenge, the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Two of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. What is going on? Your reading is off the chain. Out of all the signs that I've done, your reading is off the chain. And I'm going to tell you why this is happening. It's happening because of the solar eclipse in your sign. It's preparing you for something big here. So the Ace of Cups, your challenge for over the next six months is clarified by the Two of Cups. You have the King of Cups and you have the Wheel of Fortune. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that something here in your life is changing. The pendulum is swinging, as I like to call it. So if things have not been working out for you lately, if things have been difficult, hard, after the month of November, you're going to see a significant change. November is a very important month for you, Libra, because there is going to be a partnership that's coming into your life. There's a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a new person. Okay. Or somebody who embodies, uh, the water sign energy again, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. I'm also getting a Leo, Aquarius, a Taurus, possibly again, like I said, a Scorpio. Okay. So for many of you, your biggest challenge is the fact that things are changing. Things are looking up for you now. Uh, maybe what you're used to where things aren't really working out for you. That's going to all change. There's somebody here that sees you over the next six months, somebody who recognizes you and sees you and sees your value. And there's something about you that this person really likes. So as a result of that, I see this person making an offer to you and this offer is very much connected to a new beginning in love. And this is going to be your challenge, right? Because if you've been going through a lot in your life where there's been a lot of ups and downs, things haven't been working out the way that you want them to. Every time you try to do something new, every time you try to progress or move forward, there's always some sort of delay blockage, or maybe things simply just don't work out and there's disappointment. But this new love that's coming in, this new energy that's coming in. Okay. Even if this is not about love, this could be about an offer that's coming in financially, maybe for you. Um, but it is going to include a partnership. There's something here about, um, partnership collaborating, coming together. And by the way, this person who's coming into your life that you may reject, or you may not be interested in, or you may not be willing to take the risk or the chance on this. This is actually a part of your destiny. This is actually something that you're being called to move towards. And again, even if this is not connected to love, you can connect it to whatever you need to either way, your challenge is here about having or being open to some sort of new beginning that is a part of your destiny. I'm seeing one, one, one on the clock. You're going to want to check out what one, one, one means. There could be some sort of important message there for you. Okay. So if you're a rising Libra, this uh, solar eclipse happened on your ascendant. So your image may be changing the way you appear or the way you present yourself may change. Um, you know, some of you are shedding skin now and you're preparing for something new even if you're a sun or you're a moon. Okay. If you're a moon, this is affecting you emotionally. It's like you're, you're emotionally happy about something. And if this is the sun, uh, with the solar eclipse, this is affecting you in a way where you're being reborn the way you live your life, the way you do things day to day, that's all going to change, but it's changing for the better. It's just a matter of you recognizing it and being open to it. And that's going to be your biggest challenge. Okay. So Libra, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the devil. Why is it here? What does Libra need to know about the recent past? So the devil is clarified by the three of cups. You have the seven of cups and you have the three of wands. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that 
even though you or this person you were dealing with, somebody was at a distance or there could have been um, some sort of need or desire to move forward to the next milestone within the relationship. I do feel some of you in the past were involved with somebody here who was not that great or healthy for you. I do strongly feel that this person, either you or this person, take it as it resonates, one of you um, treated the other person like an option, okay? I'm really strongly getting that. So there's something here about um, being treated or feeling treated like an option. So in the recent past, there was a lot of on and off between you and this person. And even though there was a lot of on and off between you and this person, over time, things started to become more difficult between you and this person. Okay. And there may have been, yeah, 10 of wands, seven of swords. So you may have said, oh, I'm going to hold on to this. You know, things are going to get better. I don't think, you know, I don't think things are going to get worse, but there was so much confusion about this situation in the past is what I'm getting. So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. You have the High Refont and the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, in the recent past, I think a lot of you took your time moving towards the situation or your person took their time. I think, I feel like this is you though. I feel like you were the one that was taking your time and you really felt pressured to make some sort of decision. Some of you felt pressured in terms of uh, wanting or creating some sort of commitment, okay? So there could have been some sort of um, desire here for commitment, but you know, I think what really worried you or created some sort of uncertainty here in the past with the two of pentacles twice here is the fact that something really wasn't stable and you were questioning it and you were very indecisive about it here in the recent past. Two of pentacles is clarified by the emperor, the queen of wands and the nine of cups. I think a lot of you made the conscious decision here in the past to, um, to focus maybe more on yourself, to focus more on your passion and to find stability within yourself. Because in the recent past, even though this person may have made a proposal to you, an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, sun, moon, or rising, this person may have made a proposal to you and they may have said, well, you know, if we get married or we commit ourselves to one another, maybe things are going to get better. Um, because somebody here in the past did feel like an option and it was a situationship rather than being something exclusive. Uh, so there was this on and off energy here and uncertainty about whether or not you wanted to possibly get married to this person in the past. Now in the present moment, it looks like you're working through something. Okay. So things may have become very difficult for you in the past, but in the present moment, you have maybe employed some sort of way to work through the issues that have been presenting themselves. And this is why the death is here with the three of swords, because a lot of you are over, this energy of feeling sorry for yourself. Uh, you're over feeling this pain. You're over feeling this uh, hurt or uncertainty. Okay. And you're saying to yourself, now I want to take the reins in my hand and I want to work through whatever issues I have to have this new beginning. And the reason why you're feeling this is because the solar eclipse just happened. So it's in a way pushing you to recognize and realize that there is hope and there's still opportunity there for you, even though the past was very confusing and uncertain. So you have the eight of pentacles, which is clarified by the death, the eight of pentacles and the chariot. So even though something here is changing, there's a couple of stories I have. The first story is some of you are adapting to this change. You're accepting the fact that something here is over or ending and you're adapting some sort you're adapting, excuse me, to some sort of change and it's allowing you to finally move forward. All right. And for others of you, if this is about a job, many of you, a job is going to come to an end. The reason why this job is coming to an end is because it's forcing you to step outside of your comfort zone to find other ways to increase your income. So, you know, for example, if you're, if you're saying to yourself, well, I want to know about my financial situation, your financial situation will improve and get better when you recognize what needs to change and transform inside of the workplace or whatever it is that you're you're working through or on. Um, some of you are no longer working in the office. You're working at home. That may be a transition that you're going through for others of you. A job is ending. Maybe you get laid off. It's that means there's an opportunity for a new beginning. The Ace of Cups is a new, passionate, um, emotional, beautiful new beginning. And then look at that. The moon is there. So the moon is a representation of the solar eclipse that just happened for you. So again, and I'm just going to reiterate this just so you all know how to, how to apply my readings to your life, because 
my readings are not the same as everybody else's online. I com I'm completely outside of the box. There's, I don't fit in any box <laughs> when it comes to tarot. I'm, I'm doing it um, the way I believe I feel I should do it. So for many of you, the, when you're watching the readings on this channel, it's really important that whatever situation you're going through, you're able to piece the information I'm giving you, which is from the divine, from spirit, from God, from above that I'm, um, transferring through myself to you. It's really important that you're applying it to different facets of your life, right? So for some of you, this could apply to your friends. Some, for some of you, this can apply to your environments. For others of you, your job, maybe your investments, um, possibly even love, okay? May, it's mainly a love channel, but sometimes you may apply it in other areas. I'm seeing a very strong financial message here about a change in your career, change in your financial situation. This is about you adapting to this change, okay? Because the lunar eclipse is happening and we're gonna talk about the lunar eclipse, which is happening in Taurus. I'm gonna go more in depth in the extended, but I'm gonna briefly just tell you that the lunar the lunar eclipse for you, Libra, is, being, ha is happening and is gonna affect you in the eighth house. So if you're rising Libra, your eighth house is gonna have uh, the lunar eclipse there, which means any joint finances, any you know, joint money, et cetera. You need to be careful how you're investing with other people's money or where you are collaborating. And, you know, some of you are behind on your taxes. That may be something that you need to do. So there's a lot of information here in terms of what's happening in the present moment. There's definitely a transition that's happening, but spirit is saying in the present moment, don't be afraid of this change or transition because it's a part of you rebuilding your life again. And this is why the fool is here in the present moment, because it's showing you, Hey, if you're not willing to take the risk, no risk, no gain. So this is about you stepping outside of your comfort zone. I did mention this to a few other signs. I think it was Scorpio or Taurus that I mentioned this to. Let's clarify the fool. What is this new beginning all about for Libra in the present moment? So you have the hangman, the nine of swords, and you have the temperance. So in the present moment, there's a lot of, like I said, worry and fear because a lot of you don't want to have this new beginning. You don't want to take action towards it. You believe that this new beginning that you're about to have is going to be the same like every other new beginning that you've had. And that's not true. So this is about you recognizing why you're in fear, why there's anxiety, why you can't sleep at night because of some sort of change. Are you looking at this from a different perspective? This is about you looking at the situation from multiple perspectives perspectives, Libra, and finding the inner strength to overcome any sort of anxiety, stress, and fear connected to some sort of new beginning that spirit is saying to you to be patient with yourself because it's a transition that you're going through. But the more you're open to it, the more you're going to see some sort of opportunity that's coming in for you. Okay. Your important message here, queen of swords, which is you. Okay. This is you in the present moment. So we're going to clarify that we have the five of pentacles. You have the King of Pentacles and you have the Four of Cups. Your biggest message here in the present moment is to recognize what you continue what you continuously hold on to. A lot of you are holding on to things that have been very difficult for you, things that have been burdensome, over responsibility that's just not worth it. And a lot of you want to move towards this energy of happiness and fulfillment. So the message for you, if that's your story, the message for you from spirit is to recognize what it is that you need to reject, okay? Because the death cards here in terms of what you don't see coming, it's also in the present moment. So it's a very clear indication that something's done. Something is over. The cycle is done. So when I mention and I say, oh, the cycle's done, the cycle's done for everybody in a different way. You're going to know what's coming to an end in your life because you're going to simply piece that information to whatever is ending in your life in the present moment. And it's going to give you some sort of clue as to what opportunity is coming in that you can take advantage of. And like I've said many times, like a broken record, I've said to you that opportunities are there. It's a matter of you being consciously aware to actually take advantage of them. And 90% of people don't take advantage of opportunities because they're too distracted or too busy or they're too much in fear. So this is something that spirit's asking you to pay attention to. I'm seeing 122 on the clock. You're going to want to check out what 122 means. There could be some sort of important message about the present moment that you need to know in angel numbers. You can find that out online. Okay. So in the near future, what you actually don't really see coming is there's a new beginning, but it's not just any new beginning. It's one that you're extremely passionate about. 
And it's one that is going to lead Nine of Cups to this feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction. So let's talk about this new beginning. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands for Libra in the near future. So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands. You have the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. So in the near future, there's a choice that you have. And this choice has a lot to do with um, moving into some sort of new direction in regards to something that you're extremely passionate about. You're extremely passionate about something here in the near future, but I think one of the things that makes this decision that you may need to make in the near future difficult is determining whether or not you're willing to take that risk to start something new because this is all about a new beginning but some of you are going to veer more towards the comfortable path right you might say oh i don't really want to take that risk i don't really want to put myself in that position so i'm just going to take the comfortable route okay so this is the choice that you may need to decide between you know am i going to take on the path that's, you know, least resistance, or am I going to take the path of, you know, maybe taking some sort of calculated risk. So either way, one of these options or choices is going to lead to success for you, but it's important that you choose the right one. So let's see if we can get some more information on that. Tell me more about the chariot in the near future for Libra. What is it that they're moving towards? What is it that they need to know? So the chariot is clarified by you have the king of swords, you have the hermit and you have the judgment. So for you, uh, what I'm seeing in the near future, there's a very strong energy here of you coming to some sort of realization. I see you spending a lot of time on your own in the near future, but you're spending time on your own to make it clear in terms of what direction that you want to take, because it's confusing, right? For you, a lot of you don't want to make the same mistake as you did in the past. So this is what's really important in the near future is, is that you're going within and coming to some sort of realization, which is what I see you doing, about what are you truly passionate about. This is about your financial situation and you wanna be financially free. This is about you choosing one path, but one path that you're passionate about, something that you love doing, that you enjoy doing, because that's what's gonna to lead to infinite success for you, because it's something that you do effortlessly. So this is uh, all about your happiness, your fulfillment. If you don't feel fulfilled by something, a lot of you may not pursue it, and that may help you to make some sort of decision on what is good for you and what is not good for you. A lot of you are dealing with an air sign in the near future. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they see you. They see you as somebody that they want to be in a relationship with. This could be a Pisces, maybe a Leo here. This is all happening after you went through some sort of ending. There, again, your whole entire reading is indicating a brand new beginning. So the question that you need to ask yourself, Libra, is are you completely ready to immerse yourself in some sort of brand new beginning? The Nine of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups. You have the world and you have the High Priestess. In the near future, intuitively, you may decide to completely put an end to this indecisiveness about this person, this water sign. Again, this water sign is in and out in the near future because you haven't made that decision. But when you finally listen to your intuition and recognize the opportunity that's there for you to have this new beginning, that's when you're gonna see fulfillment and happiness come in. But this is about you not choosing a choice or decision because you feel sorry for someone or you're doing someone a favor. You're choosing this path because it's something you love and you enjoy doing. When you follow your passion, when you follow the path that is least resistant, but also has rewards because it's something you love doing and it doesn't feel like work. And again, this is in relation to love, maybe a financial situation that you're in. That's when you see the rewards. So you're letting go of something here that yes, at one point seemed very successful for you, but you're also equally open to new opportunities. And it's important that you're not closed off to them. So many of you are realizing the opportunity that's coming in and you're adjusting or making some sort of decision accordingly, okay? So this is very good news. Let's get some advice for you, Libra. What's the advice? So 
So your advice is the two of swords, the ace of pentacles and the six of wands. Your biggest piece of advice here is to recognize what opportunity is going to further advance your career, what opportunity is going to further advance your success. There's a major opportunity that's coming in for you. A lot of you see it and you recognize it. Others of you are closed off to this. Okay. So your biggest piece of advice here, you know, if you're somebody who's not closed off to opportunity, you've already started a new beginning, things are working out for you, then you don't need the advice. It's the, the advice is for those of you who truly need the advice. So your biggest piece of advice here is, is that the more you close yourself off to opportunities, the less you educate yourself, the more you focus on one direction without being open-minded or diversifying. Uh, it actually creates blocked energy for you and you actually end up not maximizing the solar eclipse in Libra. The whole entire point of having the solar eclipse happen in October is for you to recognize the opportunities that are going to create some sort of new beginning. So the more you're pessimistic, the more you assume that everything that happened to you is going to happen again in the near future, uh, you end up missing out. And this is what spirit's trying to make you aware of spirit is trying to make you aware of that. Yes, there's an opportunity. There's a new opportunity, even though you may be successful already, you may want to advance that success. That means being open minded and being conscious of opportunities coming in. The more you're open to these opportunities without being closed off to them, the less likely it is you're going to miss the opportunity. Okay. So Libra, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.